Well, we're having a contest. We're having a competition of ideas. We've got uh, uh, people supporting one candidate or the other, both of whom are, of course, experienced in government, but none more so uh, than Liz Truss, who has been the longest standing cabinet minister and has been someone who has delivered in all her departments. So, uh, uh, of course, we're going to have um, a contest. We're going to have um, briefing and counter briefing. But uh, I don't agree with a lot of the uh, what I heard in, in the build up to this interview from your studio around the sort of corrosive cynicism. Um, it's important. People do. They believe what they say. Certainly Liz Truss does. And her life story from uh, uh, going to a comprehensive in Leeds and not being brought up in the Tory family as such. She's here by conviction. And she believes that it's only by embracing conservative values that we can deliver on every part of the agenda. And uh, that's why she has not just Jacob Rees-Mogg and, uh, uh, and people who were uh, very much associated with the, the, the sort of strong Brexit part of the party, but she also has Vicky Ford, who's a fellow um, a foreign minister with myself. She has uh, Chloe Smith supporting her. She has people right across uh, the breadth of the party. She is, she is a party, she is the candidate to unite the Conservative Party, and she will do so on the basis of principles and in terms of her programme which she is developing in order um, to govern this country properly. It is that programme that she's being putting, putting in front of Conservative members. She isn't going to come out with another one when she gets over. And I think that your studio members should hang their heads in shame for suggesting it, because she isn't going to. This is a programme for government. She's going to hit the ground running. She's got a history of delivery. And whether it's things like uh, trade deals, do you remember? They said it would be impossible to have uh, trade deals on the same terms as the EU. And even if you could deliver it, it would take so many years, seven, ten years to do it. Well, not under Liz Truss it didn't. She's, she's someone who can drive things through Whitehall, she can get things delivered, and, of course, she has a vision of delivering change in driving economic growth. Rishi Sunak has, of course, uh, you know, has many merits, but he proposes, at, I think, as a former investment minister, the worst possible time to stick up the national insurance rise, hurting families, and put up corporation tax to 25%. It's like putting an enormous sign up on Britain to the rest of the world saying closed for business. We need foreign direct investment. We need the jobs that comes with it, the prosperity, the growth. That's what Liz offers. It's a really optimistic, uh, go ahead, um, aspiration nation that she's seeking to build. And I think it's her positivity and her confidence in this country um, and her belief in the values and principles that lie behind her programme that mean that at the moment, and we've got a long way to go, that she's carrying so many Conservative Party members with her.